And now we move to our very first President's Report from President Mantella. Thank you, Chair Kramer, and thank you to all the members of the Board of Trustees for your confidence in me to lead this absolutely precious university. Um, I'd like to start by thanking uh, the members of the executive team, the faculty, distinguished faculty, the staff, uh, and the trustees for all you've done to build such a solid base at Grand Valley State. You know, I have spent some time over the summer with a number of colleagues when you're in a transition. And I have to say that um, many of them that are entering a presidency on July 1 are not finding a budget in the way that Trustee Russell has outlined it, um, or a constituency that is as strong and united in the way that Vice President Lowe has communicated our, our giving rate, um, and serious um, declines in market position, enrollment, and struggling, and so I am in such a fortunate position to step into this leadership role because of the work that all of you have done. So my profound thank you to everyone in this room, um, including our student senate president, um, who is obviously caring for the lives of our students and representing them well. So thank you to all of you. I have to say, uh, we were all together uh, in, the, in, in this very building on January 22nd, and it has been quite a ride to get to today. Um, I've said goodbye to my university home of nearly 20 years. I was humbled by a gift of a million dollars that was donated in my name by our faculty and student and staff community trustees and corporators at Northeastern to endow scholarships for first-generation students. I re-entered the beautiful state of Michigan and was so warmly welcomed by all of you and so many new colleagues at GVSU. Faculty, staff, administrators, student government on day one, and students. Each of the trustees, the transition leaders, GVSU Foundation, and my predecessors took great care to welcome me. And I think it really shows the culture of this <coughs> university, but also your deep understanding for the complexity of succession. So thank you for caring for all of those very different facets. My focus over the transition months, which was intermittent uh, with finishing up my work at Northeastern University, and my first nine working days as president, um, includes speaking to as many of you and seeing as much as I can, um, as fast as I can. Uh, I have started with the presumption when I come into this university that it is so great because you've made it that way. So I'm doing a lot of listening and trying to truly understand the essence of GVSU. I'm deepening my understanding on the university, both historically and today, and we're exchanging thoughts on the opportunities and the challenges that lay ahead in connecting um, GVSU with the opportunities that are ahead in this fast-changing market. We even took a number of the officers to group meetings with very interesting leaders in the educational ecosystem, individuals with great success, individuals who are building new models, individuals who are studying change in pedagogy and what's working and what's not in delivery, new delivery systems, um, some individual leaders who are facing enormous challenges at their institution, investors in education, and startup entrepreneurs. To forge a bold path, we need a broad view. On day one, day zero, I think seven one is day zero, right? Um, I have to ask you that, Greg, your military. Is it zero or one? I think that's day one. Day one, okay. <laughs> On day one, um, the officers together appointed three teams to further our thinking in three areas. 
The first, to extend the value in K-12 charter relationships and education in the state of Michigan. The second, to enable a continued response to the broad demands in health professions education, a question that you asked today at our committee meeting. And the third, to explore new opportunities in graduate professional education. These areas are not definitive, but allow for early discussion of strategy with our talented faculty and staff on real issues in front of us today, and to practice together, addressing complex opportunities with openness, creativity, a fast pace, and purpose. I believe to speak only to strategy and plans in the conceptual is limiting in both the talent we could unleash to solve these challenges and the opportunity to seize uh, the opportunity to seize and address these problems today or to eliminate the barriers we confront. What I've learned to date in my very short time with you all is that Grand Valley is full of extraordinary people. It's students, faculty, staff, administration, trustees. Um, and I want to just identify three external validations of my view and also say that today's committee reports offered even more. Our pass rates and health professions, um, just one example. So the Van Andel Global Trade Center in the Seidman College of Business has received the President's E Award, the highest recognition for any U.S. entity that can receive a, a, a recognition by, for making a significant contribution in the expansion of U.S. exports. Dean Lawson, will you please stand? Thank you very much. Grand Valley's Athletics captured its 13th Learfield Director's Cup and its 21st consecutive GLIAC President's Trophy. Would Damon Arnold and Doug Lipinski please stand? Thank you very much. And Grand Valley State University was recognized by the Alexi Ex Ex Excellencia uh, in Education with the inaugural seal for being a national trendsetter and serving Latino students. So we had a very significant, I think a 40 person task force. Uh, if any of the members are here, would you please stand? We have two at the table, I know that. <laughs> Three at the table and one in the back, oh. two in the back. Thank you very much. Just some examples and I can't wait to discover more. GVSU is so uniquely positioned with its student-centered education rooted in liberal education and blended with professional studies. But that said, and GVSU must respond to the dramatic change in the market, the demographics that are rising, the costs that are rising, the student loan levels that are ri rising. Obviously, this board and administration has been mindful and purposeful about that today. Tremendous talent gaps in our region that fuel our enterprises our, and our, our regional health. The national need to increase access and completion in post-secondary education, the declining public confidence in higher education, and the need to educate for a life fulfilled both in career and in personal pursuit. It is truly challenging our human capacity and readiness to adapt. To address these issues, I think we need to do four things. One, we need to continue to drive learner outcomes, relevance, and lifetime value. And again, I would use today's example of a microbiology curriculum moved, a cybersecurity bachelor's and master's. This is relevance. We must be sufficiently distinct and visible to our populace so they recognize what we're doing here. We must build a growth mindset. We cannot rely on government funds and student tuition alone for the actions that are consistent with our mission, that are consistent, consistent with our long view of stewardship 
and the urgency of today's conditions. And we must activate our full community. There is no group of one, eight, 18, that will be able to meet our quest for greatness. We cannot preside over our current position, but we must, as GVSU has done so many times in its history, continue to flex, adapt, and lead the change. I will tell you on a personal level, I would have not made a life-altering move if I didn't have every confidence that we, not me, but we, together, have the potential to set the path, set the pace, and the conditions to excel. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Thank you, President Mantella.